guys, welcome to my art channel. Thanks for stopping by to make some art with me. Um, for more free art lessons, you could press the button below and subscribe right there on that red button. And I will see you really soon. Now let's get to making some art. Bye bye. Hi, and welcome. Today we are going to be doing Weichel yarn painting. This is a Weichel yarn painting, and the Weichel Indians are an indigenous group from Mexico, and they create this, these types of yarn paintings on board using beeswax and pressing yarn into the beeswax. And each painting is very, very unique, and there's a lot of symbolism in each of their paintings. Um, you'll see uh, <clears throat> maybe plants in here or pictures of fire, which is very important to the Weichel Indians. Um, maize or corn. Uh, deer is a very important animal in this symbolism of Weichel painting. So today we're going to do a simplified version and we're going to make a Weichel sun. So you are going to need a variety of different types of yarn. Uh, you're going to need a scissor, some Elmer's glue or liquid glue, a pencil with a point, and this is about a five by five piece of cardboard, scrap cardboard. And to start, you're just going to choose your first color and we're going to cut all our colors to about the length of our arm. And I use this as a measurement because I find that if I cut my yarn too much longer when I'm doing yarn projects, it just makes them very knotted up. So we're going to take that piece and I'm going to put these aside. And what you're going to do first is draw a circle. onto your board or your cardboard and I'm going to just make my uh, outline mine so you can see it so I know this is going to be the outline on the size of my circle and I'm just going to find the middle I'm just going to eye it and I'm going to put a dot in the middle because I'm actually going to start in the middle. And it's okay if this isn't perfectly round because we can cover up it um, anything that's imperfect with our yarn. Okay, so let's get started. Our yarn painting is going to be a little bit different than the uh, original Weichel yarn painting because they did use beeswax and we're using glue and the difference between the beeswax and the glue is the glue is very runny and liquidy where the beeswax has a better consistency it doesn't run and it's easier to press things into the beeswax and this they also use a much finer yarn than we're going to be using their work is highly highly detailed and it's done by very skilled artisans so this is a great way to start on the dot in the middle of your cardboard, you're just going to put some glue. And I always recommend when you're first starting, because we're going to work in a spiral, is to put your first piece down into the middle and just give it a minute to dry and let the glue really take hold of that piece of yarn. That'll be a lot easier when we start moving the yarn around, it won't keep coming off. So I just want you to give that a minute to let it dry. And once it is dry, we're gonna do a, uh, we're gonna do a little spiral. So we're just going to do one spiral. I didn't I didn't let mine dry. I'm telling you to let yours dry. You should give it about five minutes. You're gonna go one spiral 
around. You can use your fingers and the point of the pencil to kind of direct the yarn onto the glue. And press it down into the glue, just like that. And now, since I have my first part of my spiral down, the glue's starting to dry, it'll be a little bit easier. So now I'm going to make a bigger circle with my glue. And I'm going to fill that circle in with glue because, oops, <laughs> it popped right off. That's why you need to wait for it to dry. I'll just pop that right back on there. Not a big deal. So you're going to fill in that circle with glue because you're going to do a spiral using the rest of your piece of yarn. So let's try this again. <laughs> I need to follow my own advice. Let it dry. Okay, so I have to kind of re-spiral that little thing there. And I'm just going to keep, as I'm spiraling my yarn around, I'm just going to keep pushing it close to the row before it. And I'm also going to push it down because I don't want to spin my yarn or spiral, spiral my yarn around and it go over the other yarn. You want it to lay right next to the yarn. And I'll show you how that looks. So everything is nice and neat right next to the yarn. And you just continue to move slowly. Adding it down, pushing it into the glue. And it takes a little practice. And sometimes the yarn pops up and you can just press it down. I choose to use the pencil because I find that my fingers get so sticky with the glue that the yarn just sticks all over my hands <laughs> and keeps picking it up. So I find the pencil is a little makes it a little neater to work with. And so I've run out of glue on one side. I'm just going to add some glue. Make sure there's yarn, uh, I'm sorry, there's glue under all your yarn because you don't want any of the pieces popping off. And then I'm just going to continue wrapping around. And then just give it a gentle roll over to squash it in that glue really well. And any glue that ends up on top of the yarn is going to dry clear. And so we have our first bit of spiral on there on our sun. And we're ready to start our next color. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to, I don't know where the end of, of this yarn is. There it is. I'm going to measure about arm's length. And I'm just going to be um, really careful here to make sure that I got to add a little bit more glue, I see. And I want to make sure when I put this new color down that it is put down right next to the end of my last color or the end of my red yarn here. So I need to get in really close with that. And again, it really helps to use, see, it helps to use the pencil to get it right up and next to that color. And I'm going to continue to spin it. 
or spiral it. Double checking to make sure you have enough glue that goes under your yarn. And you don't need gobs and gobs of glue, but you do need a decent amount that's gonna that the yarn can kind of soak into because that's what's gonna help it to really stick. And I continue to be really careful and push it up right next to the last row that I just went around. Okay, so I finished my second color and it's just a little bit so I can continue that color or I can add another color. And I think I'm gonna continue that color just a little bit. Um, let me measure it first. It's because we're using shorter pieces. <laughs> it's gonna run out quicker now because we're using a larger space. We're spiraling in a larger space. And I'm just gonna go around and Get my glue. Okay, and you can see how I did another ring of glue around there. And I'm going to find where my other yarn ended and I'm going to start right where that other yarn ended by putting the beginning of this yarn right next to it. And you shouldn't really see, once it dries you shouldn't be able to see because it's the same color. Now I can do this relatively fast because I've done it a few times before and it does take getting used to. So if you find that it's taking you longer, feel free to pause the video and catch up. Just keep patting it down as I go. I'm rolling it right into that glue. And you see I'm starting to run out of glue and I have a little bit left here. Of yarn, so I gotta add some more glue and finish this row. Every once in a while, I like to very gently roll right on top of my piece, very gently with the pencil, because what this does is it presses the yarn down more into the glue and spreads the glue out from the bottom 
a little bit. So this is where we are so far. And I'm going to go to my third color. I'm going to do blue. And I'm going to do like the length of my arm. And same thing. I'm going to just start adding glue around the edges. And I'm not filling up the whole circle, as you notice, at one time with glue because that would just be a mad mess. <laughs> so I just do a little bit of glue at a time. Just enough to go around once or twice and then I add more glue. It's better to do less, start with less and add more than to have a gluey mess. And sometimes I, I see you can even spin it around a little bit. See if um, that works for you, spinning the cardboard around instead of spinning the yarn around. And I see I already need a little bit more glue. Once you get used to working with the glue and the yarn, you can do more detailed work. It's just a matter of getting used to maneuvering this yarn in a way that you're comfortable. So I think I'm going to add another uh, round of glue. There it is. <laughs> Couldn't find my end. I'm going to go around a little bit more. Get some glue. Spread it out a little bit. I'm just going to attach the two edges together. Kind of mush them together with some glue. Now I'm starting to run out of room in the middle. So I'm going to, I want to end my circle or my sun with a row of a different color. So I'm actually going to backtrack just a little bit. Here, room here. So I see this is picking up. It needs a little more glue. Looks glue sometimes dries out. If it's too thin, it dries out quickly. And just like I did on this one, after the orange, I went back and I did a blue. I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to pick, I think I'm going to go back to the red for my last row here. And here we have our, the inside of our sun. 
a few ways we can finish the sides of the sun. One way is to use markers or crepas and color it in. The other way is to use small pieces of the yarn that we've been working with, and that's what we're going to do here. So we are going to fill in these four triangles on either side, and you can either mix the colors together or do one section a different color. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the color, the gray color that I used, and I'm going to do um, maybe the gray and the red on the edges. So I'm just going to use two colors, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to take a piece of the gray, and I'm just going to cut a few strings of it in different sizes. And the biggest piece you're going to need is going to be in the middle of the triangle. And I am going to cover this whole triangle with glue. I'm not sure if you could see that. I covered the whole little triangle in there with glue. And then I'm going to go in with my pieces and I'm going to start filling it in by putting them right next to each other, like so. And it's okay if some of them are longer and hanging over, I could trim that later. I'm going to use my pencil to push those pieces in really close to my circle. There. And press it down. Push that down and make sure those are nice and close together. I need a couple more pieces so we decided to trim it. <laughs> and every piece is getting smaller and smaller. tiny pieces to fill in some spaces there. And I'm going to use my pencil again and just make sure everything's nice and close. Make sure you have enough glue and that it's wet enough. So you see this glue is starting to dry a little bit. It's going to dab a little extra. those pieces down. So this is what I have so far and if you look at the back it's coming over the back. When this is totally dry I will trim it even more. But for now I'm going to leave it and I'm going to go to my next color and I'm going to use the red and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to fold it a couple times and I know I need one long piece for the middle, and everything else gets shorter from there. I'm going to put my glue and fill in that triangle. And again, you can see I'm working quite quickly. And if so, if you need to, feel free to put the uh, video on pause and just continue working until you catch up. Don't feel the need to rush. When the Weechel Indians are working on 
a piece like this, a yarn painting. It really takes them a very long time. And it's almost like a meditative process. And by meditative, I mean they go into kind of a very deep, relaxed state while they're working on these pieces. Everything is sticking to my hands at this point. <laughs> I have a lot of glue on my fingers. There we go. Okay, so I finished putting it on all the sides. And now, once it's dry, the sides are dry, you can trim it. You don't want to trim it when it's wet. And this is still, this one's still a little wet. So we'll do this one last. You're gonna turn it over and then you could see all the things that are sticking out and you could just trim it right off. Give it a haircut. Just make sure that they're dry, otherwise you'll end up pulling them off, all that hard work. And here we have this beautiful piece. And I'm just going to show you how to add some tassels on the bottom to give it a finished look. So let me just clean this big giant mess off that I have. And the way to make a tassel is to take your yarn and wrap it around your four fingers like ten times. One, two, oops, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Once you've wrapped it around your hand ten times, you're going to very carefully slide it off and cut that. Take a little piece of yarn and you're going to hook it through that hole in the middle, like so. And then you're going to just knot that. Double knot it like that. Okay, then you're going to bring all the yarn down nice and tight and close together. Except for those two that the ends that you use to tie, you're going to keep those upward. Sorry about that. I almost missed that. And then this part you're going to bring down like that. You're going to take another little piece of yarn and maybe about the width of your thumb. You're going to measure the width of your thumb and you're going to put the yarn underneath that with about a thumbs amount of yarn on top of this string and the rest on the bottom. And you're going to tie another double knot. Now it looks like this, and you're going to bring, hold on to these, and you bring all these down, and then you're going to give it a haircut, because there's still loops on the bottom, and you want to cut open those loops. Shake it out, and you have your tassel, and you can take the tassel, and you're going to glue it onto the back. So, and I'm actually going to put a piece of tape on it because I'm going to pick it up and show it to you. And you can put tape on it too. Or just don't move it until it's completely dry. And then you have your tassel. Like that. And I'm going to show you one more time how to do that tassel. Or two more times because we're going to do three of those. So we're going to take your yarn. You're going to wrap it around these four fingers about ten times. Okay. Just cut that. we we'll put that down on the table. Cut another little piece. And you're going to string it right through that circle of yarn you just made. 
and you're going to make a double knot. Okay. Hold on to those top pieces. Oops. Hold on to those two top pieces and just kind of squish these together and bring everything down. Take another little piece of yarn. You measure about a thumb's length down to where you're going to put this piece of yarn and then you're going to double knot it. Bring everything down. Like so. And then you're going to cut all those loops on the bottom. You can cut it by going through like this. Or you can cut it this way and trim them all the same length. And just shake it out like so. And then I'm going to glue this to the back. We're going to make one last tassel. Wrap it around 10 times. Pull it off, keep that little circle, take another piece of yarn and string it through. Make a double knot. Hold those strings and just pull these down. Grab another little piece of yarn, put it about a thumbs, measure about a thumb down. Gonna make another double knot around here. I'm gonna just bring everything down and I'm gonna trim the bottom. Shake it out. Some glue here. Make sure they're all pretty much the same, hanging the same length down. Just add my tape to make sure it dries well. There's a lot of excess here. And here we go. This is our Weechel inspired spiral sun design. I hope you enjoyed making this and I will see you again really soon. Bye bye.